Hey guys, welcome to my first video. Alright, so we're gonna be looking at ragdolls. Well, the one that's supplied from Roblox. Okay, because many people do not know how ragdolls work. Or, like, they try to use a script from Toolbox. But Roblox themselves have, uh, have already made one. And it's pretty, pretty sophisticated. Actually, it's not too sophisticated. It's a module. So, um, the first thing you gotta do is go to View and then go to Toolbox. Uh, let's close uh, Properties because we don't need it. And, uh, well, I use this model, but search up Robot uh, in your tab. And then the first one would be this one by Roblox with the three robots standing. Uh, just drag that, drag that out. Drag that out on your uh, base plate, and because these guys will have the ragdoll inside of them. So if you open this up right here, any of them would have it. Uh, go to NPC, and then you could see ragdoll right here. This module called ragdoll. So let's uh, take this ragdoll script, put in server script service. You only need one too, but they put it in every single one of these robots. So if you look here, there's another ragdoll. There's a rig type that connects to the ragdoll. There's another module called Maid, but that's something more sophisticated. So you don't gotta worry about that. Uh, and yeah, and then you can just delete these guys. So here it is. This is the ragdoll script. And then, all right, so let's take a look inside. Uh, let me show it better increase the thing so you guys can see better right here we can see that it requires two parameters okay when when it calls ragdoll and when we scroll down it says return ragdoll so that means that the module returns this function because it's only one function that connects to the module but then it gets uh it gets the thing rig type which is just a bunch of measurements for the rig. If it's R15 or R6, it just gets numbers. So that's that's pretty cool. That's a separate module from it. Um, but this is it. This is the process we have to know. We need the model and then the humanoid. So those are the two things that we need to call this. So how do we call this? Well, <clears throat> uh, we need a script that could require it. Okay, but uh, first let me just get a script, though, like a health script, just so we don't have to make a new one, because that's not efficient. So let me just play the game real quick. Why did that close? Oh, it's toolbox, that's why. It's all good. Ah. Uh -huh. Still loading. <laughs> Taking a long time. Oh, it's all good. Alright, my bad. That took too long, but it's all good. Ah, Alright, so inside of your character, you have your character in the workspace. So if you look inside, there's the script called health. That's the one we're going to use. So we can just copy that. And then yeah, just make sure you copy it, copy, and then we're going to stop it. <laughs> and so now we have the uh, script. So let's uh, open up starter player, go into starter character scripts, and then paste in the health script, okay? And inside of the health script, this basically is the reason your character is healing. But this is where I would put my rag pulling mechanic. So ragdolls could work. So I don't have to use multiple scripts for that. And you have to keep it health so it doesn't duplicate twice. So if I... Here, let me open up properties cause so I can rename it. Let me close toolbox. So if I rename this like health2, then when you respond, there's going to be two health scripts. So you have to keep it health so you can tell Roblox that you're only going to have one health script. But uh, this is just going to be a modified health script, pretty much. We're going to go into <clears throat> uh, 
well we're gonna get the ragdoll we're gonna require the ragdoll script so type in local ragdoll equals game dot service script service dot ragdoll but then we have to require it since it's a module so we have to do require because it's a module but if, if you look on how this works require just means it's a module so we have to require the module and then inside we just get the server script right here server script service game dot server script service and then ragdoll because we added ragdoll in there and now we need to detect when the player dies so let's create a local function call this on death okay just like that press enter so it makes an end right there and then inside of these parentheses we're gonna get the humanoid because I already defined it over here let's do humanoid we're actually my bad we need to define ragdoll ragdoll and then we have to get the model because if we look here we need the model and then the humanoid so that we need the model which is the character the character is the model and then we need the humanoid <laughs> humanoid but now it's just a function there's nothing calling the function it's just a function by itself so we need to listen to when the player dies and how we do this is we get the humanoid humanoid dot on death oh no, no dot died my bad dot died equals connect and then put on death inside and what this does is it detects when the humanoid dies and then runs the function humanoid dot died equals connect on death and that's pretty much it what I would do is uh, separate this from the other stuff so it's more neat and just define it right over here ragdoll and then over here I would put I would grab this because this is another this is the health script and I'd put this over here so it's more neater <laughs> put that together and there you go you have a more neat script you got your health over here let's just call this health and you can readjust your regenerate you can do three let's do 0.5 so it's quicker healing and then over here we have humanoid.died ragdoll the player and let's run the game so we can oh actually one thing I forgot to do my bad <laughs> we need to uh, uh, tamper with the humanoid so let's get the humanoid this might be confusing I'm sorry <laughs> this is kind of difficult to explain but it's important to make sure that the ragdoll does not uh, does not will break it works correctly so let's call this humanoid starter humanoid so this means we're replacing all of the humanoids and if you don't know what a humanoid is, it's alright, you'll you'll figure it out someday. You'll figure it out pretty soon actually. It's, it's something that you're gonna find in a lot of scripts. So and inside of the ragdoll, we have to call it starter humanoid. Make sure it's called starter humanoid correctly. Inside of this, we need to turn off break joints. So let's add a note here. Let's say humanoid the break joints on death equals false this has to always be true well be false this always has to be false okay every time you have a humanoid uh, make the joints break on false so it's a smooth ragdoll effect because basically if that's not the case then it will be very glitchy and it won't be a good ragdoll so let's run the game so we could show so I could show you that it works. Uh, <clears throat> All 
and I'm very bad at explaining that. <laughs> I will get better though, don't you worry. Um, so we spawn in, the ragdoll's running. Pretty much our humanoid is starter humanoid, it just gets renamed to humanoid. You can see over here, break joints is false automatically, that's good. That means our starter humanoid works. Now we're gonna reset. And as you can see, we are we just ragdolled. It's very simple too. But uh, as I seen in the other videos, they they made their own ragdoll instead of using like the one supplied by Roblox. But now you see it's not glitching. Let's say if we had break joints on, we we could see the difference. So let's go over here. Let's do break joints on. This is server side, so that's why it's a green outline. I went to server side and clicked on this thing. So let's go back to client side. So now break joints is on. That's bad. We don't want break joints is on because that's more unsmooth. So let's reset. And as you can see, we don't even have uh, our hats because break joints is on. So that's something you have to know. If that's the case, you have to go into the humanoid. And we did that in starter humanoid and make break joints on death is false why was that true no that was false okay break joints oh because it started humanoid so it sets it automatically to false so um <clears throat> yeah reset you can see our hats stay on break joints on death equals false that's something you always have to keep track of and yeah that's pretty much it uh, I hope you guys could like and subscribe. This was my first video. I uh, I really wanted to make it because many other YouTube videos out there, I just have not seen the correct way of doing this. And it's like, it was shocking. I figured this out just by looking at the models and I was like, oh shoot, it's that easy. Then I just played around with the humanoid and found that this is the correct way of doing it. <coughs> the hat stay on, it's smooth, there's no way of making it look unclean it's a very clean way of ragdolling supplied by roblox so uh if you guys liked uh please subscribe and and i'll see you guys next time